pause. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. Well, it's really quite simple. What you're looking at is the face of a man that has never played a Souls game before. It all started about a year ago when I started platinum trophy hunting. And I made a deal with my community that I would platinum one Souls game every 100,000 subscribers. And well, it wasn't long before we blew past the 100,000 milestone. So for my first Souls experience, I thought it was only right to start with what some people say is the best video game ever made, Elden Ring. Elden Ring's Platinum is very straightforward and is only broken up into two steps. Step one is to beat all of the bosses and get all of the collectibles. And step two is to achieve three different endings. But Beating the bosses will be my main roadblock. We kicked off our first FromSoft experience by creating our character. Samurai makes early game fairly easy. I'm with that. A little Jin Sakai. We're gonna do the same name that we always do. Rob Gerthy. All right, what is this? What are these, a bunch of sex noises or? That's more like me. That's about how, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. I think I'm gonna keep- I think I'm just gonna keep the Lucas from One Tree Hill. The famed blonde samurai. <laughs> Historical accuracy is not what we're going for here, guys. Alright, whatever. I'm not getting this detailed with it. I just want to be jacked. Alright. Monster tits. Here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and max out everything. That's a beefy boy right there. Look at the buns, bro. Yeah! Okay, let's go! Vibes, chat, energy, let's go. And Sir Gideon Othnir, the all-knowing. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what's happening, but I'm ready to beat ass, I know that. From there, it throws us right into the action, even though I am definitely unprepared for what's to come. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, we're already in there, okay. 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 After completing the tutorial, we find ourselves in a place called Limgrave, where we are exposed to the beautiful world of Elden Ring for the first time. And even though I'm pretty intimidated, I definitely feel like I have something to prove. I just want you all to know that my boy Snam, which is, you all know Snam, okay? Xbox Achievement Hunter guy. He told me that there's no way that I could beat the Tree Sentinel right off rip. So right now, that's what we're going to do. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. I'm not gonna beat him! It's gonna be a long platinum, guys. What do we got? Oh. I'm gonna ignore him. I'm dead. Nice! Okay, this is not happening. This is not happening. Just me and you, big boy. Let's dance. God, man! Oh! 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 Oh my god, we did it. That was exhilarating. Is this what everybody's been talking about? Is this the, what the what the, the kink is? Now at this point, I'm getting a pretty good feel for the game, and I'm starting to understand what the hype is all about. <laughs> okay. But little did I know, my first real challenge was approaching. Margit the Fell Omen, my first boss. Okay, all right. Those super chats, I'm gonna thank you after when I, after I die, okay? Because I'm definitely gonna die. Okay. I feel like he's got a lot of delays. I can tell by his first attack, he looks like he delays a lot. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane, bro. Ooh. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? Who, who are you? Okay. 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 That's insane, bro. That's Oh my 
my god, bro. It became very clear very fast that I was not prepared for this fight. I was both underleveled and underskilled, and Miyazaki knew this. So I was taken to the round table hold, which acts as the hub of this game where you can resupply and level up. And it also so happened to lead to my first trophy. Hey, we got our first trophy though, finally. Round table hold, arrived at the round table hold, okay. Basically they're saying, bro, you ain't ready. Come on back to the house, you know what I mean? From the round table hold, I decided to leave Margaret B for a while and to just explore. Ah, what is this? What we got going on here? Wait, what? This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Thank you, ExpressVPN, for contributing to my Lego addiction fund. We live in strange times, and the internet can be a dangerous place. And that is why it is more important than ever to protect yourself with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN allows you to keep your IP address secure and sends all of your traffic through an encrypted server, making it difficult for your ISP, malicious hackers, or other parties to monitor your online behavior. Nobody should have the right to access your personal data but you. And ExpressVPN is perfect for ensuring that doesn't happen. But let's tone it down a little. Let's say you're not worried about hackers or the government stealing your personal information. Let's say you're playing a little Call of Duty and you keep dying because your latency and ping is working against you. Well, ExpressVPN can help with that too. When it comes to online gaming, you want the shortest connection route possible between you and the servers of whatever game you're playing. Whether that's Call of Duty, Fortnite, or you're one of the 17 people on Halo Infinite. Using a VPN can help to shorten this route by connecting to a VPN server closer to the gaming server. I personally love using ExpressVPN for this very reason. Why should I be at a disadvantage to my competition just because I live in a different part of the world than them? With ExpressVPN, dying from ping is not an issue. Now when I die, I know it's just because I'm bad at the game. And the best part is if you go to expressvpn.com slash IamRob right now, you will get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. It's a hell of a deal, guys. I cannot recommend them enough. Do not miss out. Once again, I want to thank ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. There are over 160 bosses in this game, and if I was ever going to beat the difficult bosses, I had to gain some experience and take on some of the easier ones. And it wasn't long before I defeated my first one. Got him. We got him. Yes. No trophy, but it's okay. That was technically our first boss. Some of the bosses in this game, even the optional ones, are fairly difficult. Oh my. And some are easy. Got him. Let's go. And what I learned very quickly is that the real bosses in Elden Ring aren't the actual bosses. It's everything else. Why? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bye bye. Oh, there's something down here. What's this? What is this? Oh, that's nothing. Okay. And it wasn't long before I felt it was time to try Margit again. Because surely after four hours of leveling and beating up weaker bosses, I had to be ready, right? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. At this point, I figured it was time to call it a day. And on day two, we were really starting to get the hang of things a little bit. I found myself having less and less trouble defeating mini bosses. I beat a dragon, the rune bear, and a, a flower? Uh, okay. Oh no, bro, this game's so weird. But one thing I was not getting the hang of was exploring dungeons. There's a chest right there, dude. There's gonna, something's gonna jump out. Something's gonna jump out. It's never that simple. It's never that simple. First Souls game, and I know it's never that simple. No freaking way, dude. Oh my god, no, 
don't know why I get Eventually, I found another trophy boss named Leonine Misbegotten, and this happened. All right. Okay! 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 Don't die here. Don't die here. He's so forgiving. This is the easiest thing I've ever done. This is the easiest thing I've ever done. Ah! First trophy boss. He was easy. And that was just the confidence boost that I needed to return to Margaret the Fell Omen and take him down once and for all. Come on. Let's go! Oh, let's go! Why? I'm not even, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell. No, 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 no. I said it, chat, I said it, I told, I told you I was gonna sell. Come on. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, we did it, we did it, we did it, let's go. Let's go, Margaret the Fell Omen, let's go. Defeated Margaret the Fell Omen. We did it, let's go. I then went on through Stormvale Castle and it was an experience to say the least. What the? What in the? You freaking dick. Y'all suck. Y'all are the worst. Be very sneaky. It's up here. Ah, shit. So much better than you. Until I finally came to my next boss, Godric. Let's go! Let's go! Shardbearer Godric. After beating another extremely easy trophy boss, I continued down the path. A path that was leading me to believe that Elden Ring is a literal horror game. I'm just getting my... Okay, nice. I'm gonna go this way. Can I make that? Oh, sh... Oh, sh... Oh, my God. Why are you the way that you are? So what is going on, dude? What are we in right now? <laughs> what, 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 what is happening, bro? What, no, please. No, please. What the, dude, this is literal nightmare fuel, brother. I'm so scared. Eventually, I came across, not literally, my next boss, Ranala, Queen of the Full Moon. Okay, I got you. This is the weirdest thing I've ever, why am I erect right now? I don't know. All right, next phase. That, 
That was it. And I got great rune. Restored the power of a great rune. That was stupid easy. Y'all said she was gonna be hard. What the, what are we doing? This next boss was pretty annoying and I died to him several times earlier in my playthrough. But after leveling up a good bit, I decided to try him again. I don't even know what bro's doing right now. Like, what are you on? I hate that shit, dude. That, that attack is so annoying. That might be, this might be the one. This might be the one. Actually, I don't know. I get him? Thank God, man. That dude was annoying. Oh, there was a, uh, there was a trophy for that. Now, I'm going to be honest. Up to this point, I hadn't felt a crazy amount of difficulty yet. As long as I wasn't underleveled, I could get through pretty much any boss up to this point fairly easily. But little did I know, that was all about to change. I don't even have time, dude. I'm done. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. What's in here, guys? Oh, sh Okay. Oh, sh sh <laughs> yeah, right, brother. You know what? Keep the runes, guys. And then I can. What? But through my struggles, my chat wanted to see me in more pain than I already was. And they influenced me into doing something that I probably wasn't ready for. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Whatever. Let's go fight Radon. Radon is one of the coolest boss fights in this game, and I was in for one hell of a ride. All right, what's bro doing? <laughs> hell no! Nah. Hell no! Nah. Hell no! Nah. Hell no! Nah. <laughs> what is bro on? What is what is bro doing, bro? Damn. Come on. Where's he at? Where's he at? He comes out the sky, doesn't he? He comes out the sky, doesn't he? We got this, we got this. Is he? What just happened? After defeating Radon, I began exploring more of Liernia, where I did not have a very good time. What in the hell is that? What the? Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> in Lyurnia, I found another trophy boss named the Royal Knight Loretta. It was quite the battle. Dear God, bro. Dear God, Royal Knight Loretta. Next, I found arguably the funniest boss in the game. What is this? Hey, it's me. Okay. Oh, you're a bitch. Oh, I know that move. Trash. 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 Mimic tear. Let's go. Tear, tear, I don't know. Defeat mimic tear. Wow, oh, that was easy. I suck, low key chat. <laughs> okay. Then why are you beating yourself on stream? <laughs> The rest of day two was fairly uneventful. I beat two very easy bosses and died a lot in typical Rob Mob fashion. What the f- Eventually, I ran across this guy, Godskin Noble. Do not laugh, morbid obesity is no joke. See what I'm working with. Oh, it's doable. It's doable. It's doable. It's doable. Oh yeah. Easy boss fight. Oh yeah. Let me drink, let me drink. Okay, okay, come on. Boy, you need to, you need to do something with all that. There's a lot going on there. Damn, damn, damn. Oh my God. What the, what the, what the, what the? What was that? I am shook right now. What am I even supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with that? Will you lock on? What do I even do? What do I even do? This game. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. He's not that hard, bro. Like, he's just annoying. His attacks are stupid, and he's fat. Sorry, body shaman. Don't cancel me. Dude, eat my freaking butthole, man. So freaking lame, dude. You're so lame. You're so lame. Let me, let me drink, let me drink, let me drink, let me drink, let me drink. If I could get a hit in, I would freaking win the fight. I, I'm, I'm so, I am so ass. I am so ass. Come on. Come on. Come on with it. Come on with it. Come on with it, Godskin Noble. Oh, my brother in Christ, dude. That was awful. On day three, I found myself running through the Witch Ranny's quest line, which is something I would need for one of the ending trophies. But the only thing standing in my way of completing it was this uncomfortable to look at creature, Astel, natural born of the void. Somebody in my chat said he looked like anal beads and I can't unsee it. I struggled with him a ton at the end of day three, but after a good bit of rune farming and beating up on bosses that I was obviously over leveled for, I was ready to take him on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This was a bad start too. I feel like we're, we got this. Oh, no, no, no. Easy, easy. Astel, natural born of the void. Let's go. Mm. 80,000 runes for that, dude. 
I am bricked beyond measure. After beating Estelle, I came to a fight that was arguably my least favorite in the game. Well, excluding you know who. Valiant Gargoyles. No! We all know that there is nothing I hate more than a gank fight. <laughs> And this was quite possibly one of the most rage-inducing ganks I've ever had the displeasure of dealing with. But during this fight was when my chat informed me of a way to even the odds, so to speak. The two words that will make every Dark Souls Reddit kid combust into flames. The two words that will make every Souls dweeb tremble at the thought of using, as if these two words will magically take their virginity that they've been holding on to for so long. Those two words being... Mimic tier. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! All right, we're about to find out if that was worth it. We, or we just wasted 30 minutes of our time. Let's go. Okay, okay. Come on, Mimit. Come on, Mimit. Come on, come on. Mimit, stay up, Mimit. Stay up, Mimit. Gargoyles, dude, I hate him so much, I hate him so much. <laughs> I definitely won't be using Mimic Tear as a crutch throughout this playthrough or anything. <laughs> Next, it was time to go to the capital, one of the most important locations in all of Elden Ring. Shortly after arriving, I ran into another trophy boss, Godfrey the First Elden Lord. Come here. Haha. Godfrey, first Elden Lord. My first Elden Lord. <laughs> Before moving on, I did have to grab a weapon I needed for the only missable trophy in the game, the Legendary Armaments Trophy. This requires you to grab every legendary weapon in the game, and the only one that was missable was in the capital. We got it. Yes. Yes. Only missable in the game. So we are big chilling now, chat. The next boss I dealt with in the capital was Morgoth, but he wasn't too bad. Make it face. Wow. I think I'm a little bit over leveled, chat. With Morgoth defeated, that wrapped things up in the capital. For now, anyway. And before moving on to the next location, I went back to Volcano Manor, the place where I fought morbid obesity earlier. Here, I had to take out this giant serpent named Ricard. Now, I actually attempted this fight earlier after I fought morbid obesity and called it quits after only one attempt. Nah, this ain't it. I'm not ready. 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 So I was a little nervous to revisit this fight, even though I had leveled up quite a bit since then. However, my chat told me about a specific weapon you can use to fight Ricard called the Serpent Hunter, and it made this fight a complete joke. Ooh, I thought I was about to die. Oh, I thought I was about to die. Shardbearer Ricard, let's go. Oof. I'm not gonna lie, if y'all wouldn't have told me about that strat, <laughs> I so would have never figured that out. After a little more raging while trying to level up and get some collectibles, I finally made my way to the next area, the mountaintop of the giants, where I would face my biggest challenge yet. Defeat the fire giant? Where's the fire giant? I'm tired of hearing about this fire giant. It's time he heard about me. Full disclosure, 
I died 27 times to the fire giant. He had some of the most rage inducing moves out of all the bosses I had faced up to this point. I even stepped away for a little while and tried to level up some more, but it felt like even the mini bosses I ran into were ridiculously hard. Why is everything so fucking hard right now? But through hard work, determination, and leveling up my Mimic tier to a ridiculously OP amount, don't judge me, I finally managed to give the Fire Giant a run for his money. Come on, baby. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Turn me up, 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 turn me up. Come on, baby. Yes, 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 fire giant's done. How many attempts? How many attempts? How many attempts was it? It took 27 attempts. <laughs> now that we've defeated the fire giant, we can now set the Erd tree aflame, leading to another trophy. I have no idea what's going on, but I am having fun. Oh, we got another trophy. Oh, that was for doing the Erd tree, okay. We're moving and grooving. From the mountaintop of the giants, we head to the crumbling Ferrum Azula. I probably butchered that pronunciation, but it's fine. Free engagement in the comments. Here, I ran into another one of those gank fights I love so much. And look who it is, morbid obesity. I feel like he could easily one-shot me. That skin duo. Oh. That first one broke me. That one, that first one hurt, broke my heart, bro. Soon after, we found ourselves at day five, and it was going extremely well. This is the most annoying fight I think I've, I've done in the entire game. Super stupid, it's the dumbest game I've ever played, man. Dumbest f***ing fight. fight. <laughs> However, I did manage to get a trophy for collecting all legendary spells and incantations. There it is. And a trophy for getting my weapon to max level. Trophy, right here, for fully maxing our weapon. Yeah, God slaying armament, let's go. And I was going to need that max level weapon for the fight that came next. Malekith the Black Blade. Oh, brother. Okay. What is going on? I'm so dead here. I'm so dead here. It's just, it's over. It's over. The only reason I might possibly win this is because of my mimic tear. Uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Shit, shit. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of mad people because I'm using Mimic Tear. It's my first Souls game, guys. Please just let me have fun. Shit, 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 shit. I'm still gonna die, I'm still gonna die, I'm still gonna die, I'm still gonna die, I'm still gonna die. Alright, there's no way I die here, right? Malekith the Black Blade. Defeated Malekith the Black Blade, let's go. At this point in my playthrough, we're starting to get into the more difficult bosses. So naturally, I started to use Mimic Tear as a crutch a little bit. Oh my goodness! 
and my mimic tear still has 70% health. Lich Dragon. Not something that I'm incredibly proud of, but it's my first Souls game. Leave me alone. I make up for it later anyway. Don't you worry. The rest of day five was fairly simple. I mostly just cleaned up the rest of the trophy bosses I needed with some standard raging along the way. I hear I'm actually going to lose my shit, bro. What? What is that? Some of the bosses were really easy. Yay, let's go. Got Emander Nial. Nial. That's you, Juice. Yes. Trophy. Loretta, Knight of the Hallig Tree. Dude, <laughs> it's so annoying. There you are. There you are. Oh, wow. <sighs> wow. All that. It was harder finding him than it was killing him. But even though there were some easy bosses, there were some that were no joke. Okay. I don't even see what... Okay, okay. Okay, chat. Drink. I've got a drink. I've got a drink. In case he does get me, I don't think it one shots me. Let's go. Go. No, no, no. We got him. We got him. Yes. Yes. I thought he. I thought he was about to one shot me, bro. I'm so scared. After pushing through two more fairly difficult bosses, there was only one thing standing in the way of me and the final boss of the game. And she kind of took me by surprise. Wait. No, I was, no, this is Melania? Nah, 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 I wasn't, no, 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 no. I, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for this. I was gonna save this one. Dude, no, I just wasn't ready, no. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. I, I get it, bitch. I get it. They call me Risky Rob. Risky Rob Gurthy, the second. And I have never known defeat. Wood. But before doing that, I wanted to get the rest of the collectibles out of the way first. Elden Ring requires you to collect all legendary armaments, sorceries and incantations, ashen remains, and talismans in order to get the platinum. I already got the sorceries earlier on, as I previously mentioned, so I spent the remainder of day five cleaning up the rest. Yeah, that's it. That's GG's. That's GG's. It was fun, man. I'm massively overleveled. You have no idea what you got yourself into. I'm about to die. Dude, I almost died. Oh, trophy. Legendary armaments. Cool. Golden Order Greatsword. All right, all right. And this should be the last Ashen Remain. Let's go. Yep, there it is. Legendary Ashen Remains. Got all of them. We are getting so close to this platinum, but yet so far away. Get a trophy here. About to get a trophy here. Get our runes. Get our runes. There it is. Legendary Talismans. Get out. Go, go, go. All right, we did it. We did it. We got our talisman. We beat the bad guys. Oh my God. All we literally have left is the three endings. Well, of course, beating the final boss, the Elden Beast, and Melania. Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen. Today is going to be a canon event in the Rob Cinematic Universe. There's been a lot of talk in the streams, in the chat, in the community since I started doing Elden Ring about Rob and his, let's call it, 
um, abuse is not the right word, his strategy of mimic tear, okay? There's been a lot of talk that Rob is only going to platinum Elden Ring because of mimic tear. And I just want you guys to know that I take that personally. I take that personally. I don't know who you think I am. I thought I was the guy that just used the best strategy available to get it done. But apparently I have something to prove. I have something to prove today, all right? Because if I beat Melania with no mimic tear, no summons, that means I can beat anybody, okay? And, and all the little souls, little, little dweebs will run back to their Reddit threads and crawl back in their little sewer holes where they belong. I don't know how long it's going to take, all right? It might take a month. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't expect to beat her today. Today is simply about setting the foundation, learning her move set, downloading her move set in the words of the great Zanny. We will eventually beat her. I don't know how, but we will. Mimic Tear is off the table. It doesn't exist. It's not real anymore to me. It is, it is like it's not even in the game. It's not an option. No summons at all whatsoever. No summons, no mimic tear, nothing, nothing. Just a good old fashioned 1v1 dex build bloodhound fang versus Melania. Old fashioned way. You heard me correctly. After spending the last several difficult bosses abusing Mimic Tear, I decided that that just wasn't going to cut it against Melania. I am a very prideful person. I could not live knowing that I deprived myself of the complete Elden Ring experience. The Souls community would never accept me without first proving myself. And although I did abuse Mimic Tear quite frequently with some of the more difficult bosses, I knew beating Melania using no summons and no cheese at all whatsoever would be enough to earn myself a spot in the souls reddit threads if i could 1v1 melania fair and square with no cheesy strats i could beat anybody my first attempts were like a slap across the face and i quickly realized that melania was going to take several days to beat bad attempt bad attempt This is so hard, dude. This is the this is gonna be the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. Let's, oh. <laughs> you suck. I was not expecting, dude, a lot of her moves look exactly the same though. How do you recover from that, brother? Bad attempt. You're such a bitch, you're such a bitch, I hate you. Yeah, I was gonna look up how to do this on Reddit, but it's literally just kids arguing about her. One guy said, every boss, in the, every boss attack in the Dark Souls series has a guide. And this dude said, get good. People consistently dodge it. I think optional bosses can afford to have these kinds of nutty attacks. They're not mandatory and people do have consistent strategies. Like, dude, oh my God, please have sex. I'm begging you. Please talk to a woman. Jesus Christ. Your family is worried sick about you. Get a job, brother. She's not even that hard. If you use the Rivers of Blood in an arcane build, you can literally make her bleed and like, two attacks and I did it in my underwear. Like, dude, God, brother. Sorry, dog. Ah, oh, Jesus, I suck ass. You such a bitch! I hate you! She's doing it again. She's doing it again. She does it. She reads it. Drink. Come on, let's go! I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh no, I'm not. No, 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 no! Why am I done? Why am I why do I get my Melania is actually a two-phase fight. The first phase is fairly difficult because of that one stupid move. Screw you, waterfowl dance. But the second phase is where things get unbelievably ridiculous.
Now it's just about learning the second phase, bro. Even though I came up short there, I was just happy we were making progress. So I pressed on, still dying on the first phase most of the time, but still subconsciously downloading her moveset. Do it. Do your thing. Do that thing you do, baby. Do that thing you do, baby. Do that thing you do. Your bitch, your bitch. God, bro, I hate this fight. It's got nothing to do with the weapon, guys. It's a maxed out Bloodhound Fang. It does stupid damage. It's okay. It's okay. Like, I don't, it's not the weapon. It's not the build. It's not even the fact that I'm in my underwear right now. It is the fact that she is hard. Like, there's nothing else. She's just hard. It's so hard, bro. It's so hard. That was so, dude, she's almost dead. She's almost dead. She's almost dead. She's almost dead. Oh, my God. Before I knew it, I was five hours deep. And even though I was starting to get the hang of the first phase, I only managed to get to the second phase a handful of times. But I did not allow myself to get discouraged because I knew that this was one of the hardest bosses in existence and I needed to have a clear head if I wanted to get through it. The next day went a lot better. I found myself getting to the second phase more frequently, but she was still having her way with me. How do you dodge it in the second phase, man? I'm in there. 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 Ah! Ah! She's about to do it for sure. For sure, Zs. I think I can get another hit, though. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it! I'm scared. I'm afraid to attack because I know she's going to do it. I don't know when I'm supposed to attack. I don't know when I'm supposed to attack, man. But then something insane happened. I got her to below half health on the second phase. And for the first time in over 100 attempts, I felt like this might actually be possible. I just want an opening, man. I just wanted an opening. That's all I wanted was an opening and there's not one, bro. Although I was extremely discouraged, I kept going because I knew after that run that this was a very possible challenge. I even managed to get close again in the second phase just a few attempts later, but sold the bag. I didn't have, I, I didn't have my, ah, I messed up, no. I messed up so bad. I messed up so bad. When I showed up for the third day of fighting Melania, I was there to stand on business. At this point, I was a phase one expert and honestly felt like I could get through it with my eyes closed. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. I'm T-Pain. You know me. Convict music, baby boy. Ooh I know the club. Close in three. What's the chances of you rolling with me? Back to the crib. Show you how I live. Let's get drunk and forget what we did. I'ma buy you a drink. 
Oh, I'm so brick. But the second phase was still a complete nightmare. She has a couple of attacks that are pretty much one to two shot kills and they are damn near undodgeable. I don't think I have ever seen an attack in a video game like Waterfowl Dance. It is unreal, bro. But regardless, I consistently kept finding myself getting closer and closer to beating her in the second phase. I ran away instead of going towards her. Until eventually, after over 160 attempts, something finally happened that I and many others thought to be impossible. to fight the final boss of the game, Radagon, or the Elden Beast. I don't know anymore, man. This game is so amazing, but it is so confusing. Come on, come on. This might actually be doable. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Now that we beat Radagon, it is time to get all three endings. But I don't necessarily have to play the game two more times to make that happen. All I had to do was cloud save my game right after beating the Elden Beast and then reload it. First, I touched this statue and got the Elden Lord ending. Yeah, we did Randy's quest, guys. Elden Lord. Then I reloaded the game and summoned Mommy. I I I mean uh Ranny. What them arms do, girl? Mommy. Age of the stars. Let's go. Okay. One more. And finally, I got what was arguably the weirdest ending, which led to my first ever Souls Platinum trophy. Wood. Wood. Let's go. We platinumed. <laughs> What? Is that it? Is that how I just got the platinum? Firm handshakes, ladies and gentlemen. Firm handshakes. My God, brother. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Platinum, baby. <laughs> ah, bro, we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. We platinumed Elden Ring, guys. My first Souls game. What an experience, brother. We got a little surprise. This is the end of the video here, end of this series. We start The Last of Us Part Two tomorrow. But as you guys know, the deal is, every 100,000 subscribers, we platinum a Souls game, a FromSoft game, okay? I've been getting asked what I plan on doing next, and what we're about to do is figure that out right now. Throw lies a so Liza P, are we gonna do Liza P? It's not a FromSoft game. The reason I'm not, I don't wanna do Dark Souls out of order. 
I'm just going to have Dark Souls 1. No Dark Souls 2 or 3 on the wheel because I want to do those in order. I know it probably doesn't matter, but I do want to do those in order. Just for my... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of OCD about stuff like that. So, we got Dark Souls, Lies of P, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, and Sekiro. Lies of P is not a FromSoft game, but it's close enough. That'll be... Yeah. Okay. So are we ready? Dude, yeah, I don't like that. I don't feel I we'll do I, we'll do Lies of P, but I'm not gonna have that on there. I'm not gonna have that on there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's next? Two hundred thousand subscribers. What are we doing? Please be bloodborne. Please be bloodborne. Yes, that's the one I wanted. That is the one I wanted. I wanted to do Bloodborne next. That's the one I've been looking forward to the most. So that's it. That's it, chat. Two hundred thousand subscribers, bloodborne platinum video. You heard it here first. Let's get it, baby. Hit the sub button. If you haven't already, what are we doing? Rob Mob Forever. Get in here. Get involved, okay? And if you enjoyed that video, be sure to drop a like on it. It helps me out a ton. And if you want to see me do another excruciatingly hard platinum, watch this video here.